welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. Me and my beautiful coffee cup are back for another video today. So very quickly, I'm going to show you how this guy dried. And as usual, with this beautiful Primal Flow, it uh, dried absolutely perfectly. Let's get a little close up. To me, this looks like a... Uh, a, kind of like a monster's mouth with like teeth and like fire I don't know that's what I see but anyway it dried very nice as usual just the way I left it and I am never afraid with the primal flow that's the beautiful part I never wake up and go oh man it's gonna be darker oh there's gonna be bubbles there's gonna be cracks it's just wonderful and I just really love this color combination. I really like that Pacific Navy. Uh, I just, usually I'm not into like dark, dark blues so much or navies, but I don't know, this, I guess the color combination is really cool. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. All right, so what are we doing today? Oh yeah, and I just wanted to show you one thing. I almost forgot. I got some of these like jewelry trays. And they were really inexpensive. I gotta trim it a little more on that end. But I did my first little skins uh, pendant thingy. And I got, I kept on saying E600. I know it's E6000. <laughs> I misspoke in my other video. But yeah, you just take, I just took a, a skin that I thought was cool. And I have a lot of them. Um, yeah, I just put a little glue on the bottom. I made it to fit, I cut it around, and then I, I love these sticks, and now I forgot where I got them, and I better hold on to them, um, because these are really awesome, they are good for so many things, uh, I don't know what they're for in real life, but I use them for everything, a lot for my resin to get into those little areas, and uh, for this to like, push it around, and I use it to stir my resin. I can stir paint. I mean, it's really good for so many different things. I really loved it. I actually used the stick to kind of move around the glue a bit. And then that's it. And I put some glue on top and it was done. And I think I got 70 trays, all different colors, the same shape, but all different colors. Ooh, I forget how much I spent. Anywhere between seven and ten dollars at the most, and you know, free shipping. Um, and then I got some elastic um, uh, string. It says it right there what it is. Elastic string. Okay. Yeah, for like uh, some other jewelry, the um, the lighter pieces, those uh, smaller zodiac signs. Uh, they're more delicate, and that kind of rope that black cord is going to be way too thick and probably not go through the opening here so yeah so I got that for that um, and then I had actually when I tied it I used it right when I tied I had to put a little glue because it's really hard it doesn't stay when you make a knot so that's annoying it's more for beading honestly and I am definitely not getting to beading I do not have the patience for that girl nope all right, so let me stop talking so much, and so I'm going to show you. This is my the Primal Flow um, resin art kit. Like I said yesterday, I skipped a month with the paint kit, um, the paint pouring kit, because I have paint. You know, I don't want to waste money on stuff that I really don't need. I have to be smart. I love getting, obviously, I love getting art supplies. And I go through my little buying spree about once a, once or twice a month. Um, I try to fill in things that I want to try. And then I fill in, uh, obviously, things that I need. Like, I just bought some Floetrol. But, you know, I want to be smart about it and not really get stuff that I don't need. Get it? So, yeah. Just trying to be smart. So, this is the kit. This is what comes with the kit. That is other stuff I bought. And it happened again, and it's so cool where I had certain things in my cart, and then I said, you know what, let me not buy anything because let me see what I get in my kit. Let me wait, you know, and I'm so happy I did because three or four things were in my cart that I actually got in my kit. Like this really cool, what is it called? Galactic Glitter. I can't wait. 
and this actually was in my cart as well this is purple crushed mirror and there's some blue blue chunky glass here um, I did buy wound up buying this I also and also getting it but okay that's good for me um, this is called chunky prince glitter and so this month's um, uh, theme is Mardi Gras and St. Patrick's Day so that's kind of cool yeah so I love that I know I am very late for Mardi Gras but that's okay you know it's the color inspiration spring all that and these are the royal resin gifts they gave which I thought were very nice of them and actually this one too so I got three resin gifts so this was actually in my car emerald green mica because I want to do something uh, around St. Patrick's Day for Mr. Jack Septiguy, my dedication video to him. I was going to get that, and I was looking at this one too, but um, it was not in my car, but I was really like loving this color. It's called Maui um, Mica Pigment. Um, and this is called, you're not going to be able to see a Fantasy Purple, and we have some bright gold. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these things were in my cart or I was really like looking at them hard <laughs> to buy them. And then it also came with this gold glitter. Look at that. Oh my god, it's so pretty. I never thought in a million years I'd be into glitter, but um, they're just so beautiful in the resin. It's so nice. So yeah, so that is what came in the kit. So I think these are some really beautiful colors. I just love, um, I really like these because they're very bright and just wait for brightness. Hold on. So this is what I got, um, on my own, like extra. And that's why they gave me back my shipping because, uh, what they did was when I, when they saw I got this and that my shipping was canceled because it was more than enough money to not, um, you know, to not have to pay for shipping. So let's bring these over. So we got some more prints glitter. Then we have this beautiful uh, amethyst, um, pale amethyst mica. Now I do have amethyst in my um, Arteza kit, but I am very curious as to see how this one comes out. And this is ripe plum. This is a dark uh, pig. I wanted to get some dark ones. And here is the black. I cannot wait to use this because uh, my son really wanted some black and purple stuff. Um, so that is that. I For these, I was thinking of coasters because um, I did get a suggestion for from Naptime Creations because I do want to see if I could do like, uh, like a flea market in my neighborhood just to try it out for the first time, see how it goes. Um, some people just do sell their kind of, you know, I'm, I'm not calling it crap, but, you know, stuff in their house, whatever. But other people do handcrafted stuff. Um, yeah, so I saw that some guy once, like, had this gorgeous Mongolian handcrafted stuff. I'm like, oh, okay, excuse me. So, anyway, so that's, I was thinking for that. And then I got this set of, um, this is called Ocean Vibes. And I have that wooden tray that I just bought from Michael's. It was like three or four bucks. So here's the Maui again. Oh, I did buy it. Oh, well, see, yeah, it came in this kit. So I got more Maui, which is cool, in a smaller, um, in a smaller version. This is Aqua. Uh, this is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use this one. Indigo, gorgeous. It's more of a bright blue to me. And then I got a white white gold excuse me and then this is the 3d part I got some natural uh, shell pieces so this is really and I still have the turquoise ones. so these last a long long time guys so I'm not gonna be you know I may be skipping months on certain things cuz you know I really don't need every single color in the rainbow and I kind of almost have almost everything they sell I think already so yeah so today 
I am going to do, I don't know if I'm going to do this coaster, and it's not dirt, it's kind of dirty on the back because leaning on, um, before I got the other, uh, silicone mat, so it's clean on the inside, it just, on the, it picks up stuff on the, uh, the bottom, or this, I'm thinking more of this one today, because I want to really use these four colors, I know it's a lot, but I really want to do like a bright, I know like most people try to do this kind of natural geode thing. I want to go all crazy and do very colorful, um, not necessarily natural looking geode. Just go wild, use all kinds of colors. Um, I may want to mess with this uh, Prince glitter or and or some gold. And then I may use a little one or the other. I'm not going to use both. That's a lot. Um, either the blue or the purple. So I'm not sure yet. And I am going to do this video a little differently because the last resin video I did was incredibly long. And this video is already going on too long. So um, it was like 45 minutes long. So I'm going to edit it a little differently because I know a 45 minute video is a lot. So I will be back. And yeah, I'm going to do a lot of the mixing of the resin, uh, you know, just like quickly. Either I'm going to do speed it, speed it up, or like kind of do it off camera and just pour it for you guys. Alrighty. So the video will not be 45 minutes long. All right. And anyway, whoever watched a 45 minute video, thank you so much. Okay guys, I will see you in a little while. Bye. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be using the ClearCast 7050. It is a 2 to 1 ratio resin. So I'm going to be mixing it now. Guys, now it's time to pour the resin into the cups. Remember, this is a 2 to 1 ratio, so I am pouring two parts of resin. There's the second part right there, and I'm done. And then close the cap, of course, because we don't want to spill anything. Here's the hardener, and we just do one part hardener. Okay guys, so now it is time to mix both parts into the cup. Hardener goes first. Just getting every last drop there. And now the resin. Make sure I'm getting it all. I'm gonna take that stick and now scrape the rest off. There's a lot that sticks to the cup. So I am scraping the cup and also that stick. And there's the second cup. I'm gonna do the same thing. Scrape, scrape, scrape that cup. Make sure I get every last drop of that resin. And that is it. Now it is time to stir, stir, stir. So you stir very, very slowly. <clears throat> Sorry. And then you get to scrape the bottom and the sides of the cup. Just make sure you stir real slow. And you stir for about three minutes three to five minutes until it's clear to be honest there were a few bubbles but that's due to the cold weather so just keep on scraping and stirring slowly for three minutes all right now our resin is nice and clear there are little bubbles but that's okay because we could torch them out later now the directions to the mica, to the primal flow mica, said to put the colors in first. That's what I did. And I am pouring, trying to pour equal parts into each cup. You don't have to, uh, but I, that's what I tend to do. To split that one cup up um, four ways for each color. And I'm just going to use the rest, add a little more to each cup until I am done with that. And yeah, just a little bit left in that green color. And now the next step, we are going to stir. Put all those sticks in there. And there we go. I'm going to take that beautiful Maui. And 
I'm just going to slowly stir that up until it is done. And I'm going to do the rest off camera. Okay, guys, so now it is time to use our little paintbrush. And we're going to take that beautiful, gorgeous gold, I think it's chunky gold glitter. And we're just going to use our paintbrush and just put a bit, well, I may go a little crazy with it. Um, but just go over uh, and stick it directly on to the mold. And I'm just going to do that all over the mold until, you know, I get the desired amount that I want. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. And I am done with that part. Okay. Next step is we are going to add some of that Prince Glitter, also known as Purple Glitter. And I am going to put that right into the gold. I was thinking of putting the gold in the gold, but I said, no, this is Mardi Gras. So I'm going to put the purple glitter right into that gold. All right. Just knocking off my brush a little bit using the rest of that purple glitter and now I'm going to stir that purple glitter right into the gold resin I'm just going to slowly stir it until it is all mixed in all right so now it is time to pour the resin so I'm going to put that gold on the outer edges of the uh, mold I know there's some spaces there um, afterwards I'm gonna take that my stick and just kind of move it around into the edges I also know uh, very quickly as I'm pouring that I am not gonna have enough resin for the whole mold I definitely did not uh, you know uh, mix enough resin which is fine because you get to see what I do later all right so the gold is done next color is oh no sorry I'm moving the gold around first forgot about that yep so I'm just moving it into the crevices, into the edges. I love that stick because it is really one of the most useful tools I actually have. All right, so next is the Maui resin. So I'm gonna do the same thing and just kind of follow that line. And that color is just, just what I wanted. <clears throat> Sorry again. Uh, just what I wanted for this. It is really a Mardi Gras color with that gold. That Maui is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, these pigments are definitely brighter uh, than the Arteza. I really thought the Arteza would be very highly pigmented. It's actually, they are more on the sheer side. And I don't mind that at all because you don't always want bright, bright colors. But this particular, I really wanted some bright resin and the Primal Flow really gives me what I want right now. So this is gorgeous. And I'm just going to scrape the rest of that because um, I don't want to waste any. Okay, just getting every last drop because, you know. Why would you waste any? And there we go. I'm just pushing it in a little bit. And there it is. On to the next color, which is that I believe it's called the Purple Fantasy. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to follow the line. And that color is equally as gorgeous. These are really highly pigmented uh, colors. Yeah, I'm glad I looked at the directions this time. I didn't even notice that the uh, Primal Flow suggests you put the P 
pigment into the cup first, then you put the resin mixture on top, then you stir slowly. So at least with this particular uh, pigment. And I'm going to scrape my cup again, make sure I get every last drop of that beautiful Purple Fantasy uh, resin mixture. Just pushing it around a little bit. And on to the last color, which is that gorgeous emerald green. I am doing the exact same thing, just following the line. And so at this point, I 100% know there is no way I'm going to have enough resin to fill this mold. Um, this mold is quite big, but I really wanted a big mold today because I wanted to use all these colors. Um, sometimes, you know, in the smaller molds, you can't really use all these colors because they'll mix too much. You, you'll see what happens in a little bit because it is even much cooler than this. So after you know, I realized that um, I don't have enough. I believe off camera I used the rest of that gold in the center there, but I uh, go off after this part and I'm going to mix. Um, some more clear resin. Okay, that is the next step. Alright guys, so I made some more resin and now I am just pouring that right in the center there because I just, it, you know, the, the mold was a little thick and I didn't want my uh, beautiful coaster to be very thin because that would have been incredibly thin. I believe I could have even used more resin um, after I was totally done, but um, I was satisfied with it. So now look what happens. I was a little unsure of myself because I never did this before, but as I saw that gorgeous resin just shift and move around and mix in uh, together with all the colors, look at what happens. It is unbelievably gorgeous. I just love what's happening right now. That resin is, the clear resin is just mixing and moving around all the colors and they are mixing together. A truly Mardi Gras uh, coaster because look at these gorgeous colors. So at first I was a little nervous about doing this. I never did that before. I've seen other people do it, but I never did. But I am very happy with the result so far. I love how they're mixing. And it's just so bright and beautiful. And yeah, so that cup is empty. And now, I think I'm going to get my torch. Yes, I am. And I'm going to just kind of mix it a little more because the heat shifts the resin and the colors around even more and of course if there are any and there really aren't any bubbles uh, whatever bubbles I saw already dissipated so there weren't many uh, bubbles but just to be sure anyway so now I'm getting like gorgeous blue glass the glass chunks look how pretty and that glove is pretty sticky so you will be seeing me drop a couple of pieces in accidentally which is okay because it all works out at the end so I just, just decided an area to put the blue glass which was around that green right you know after the green and there I am just keep on adding more glass in a circle there So beautiful just to add another touch to this coaster these glass uh, 3d resin pieces are absolutely gorgeous I will be you know experimenting with all these colors so I just keep on adding more glass in here one just fell but it's all good Just 
makes it shimmer. I don't mind it um, sticking out a little bit. And I just put a couple of pieces in the center and I am done. Hey guys, I am back. So, wow, this is really, really cool. I saw someone else do this, add um, more, uh, some clear resin to their colors and I noticed that you know it like pushed the colors around now I know a lot of people like a clear like okay this is blue this is gold and all that um, I knew that it was going to um, push the resin and the colors around and listen this is Mardi Gras you know this is what this is about it's Mardi Gras theme and I love the way um, that aqua, no, the Maui, excuse me, the Maui kind of moved in to the gold and how some of the colors got mixed, but yet you still see the purple, the Maui, like the aqua color, the gold, the, the emerald green, and that blue glass is beautiful. And then at the very end, you didn't see me do it, I did add some more of the purple prints glitter because I am a I don't know who I've become but I am the queen of glitter now I don't know what's going on with me and yeah I love this I think this is gonna be beautiful it could have probably been a little even a little more th uh, thicker I could have added more resin but honestly um, yeah so now yeah I know how much I gotta like double whatever I'm doing. This is a pretty big guy here, but I love doing this. This is so beautiful, and I hope you enjoyed uh, my beautiful uh, Mardi Gras inspired coaster. So um, yeah, we will give this 24 hours. I'm not going to touch it. I am going to cover it right now after I finish this video and I hope you enjoyed today guys I think this is really going to be beautiful and I love just you know playing around with these different colors I was gonna make I knew I wasn't gonna have enough uh, resin right away as soon as I start pouring and I was like you know it's okay um, I got plenty of time let me just you know mix up some more and you know what I said let me to see what happens I mean look at that look how beautiful that is all uh, right and that blue glass and I by the way I don't mind it sticking out a little bit I think it's actually give you know I think it's really cool um, they did a couple of them just slip out of my hands so I kind of added more pieces in the center and I did add gold in the center so yeah I think this came out great um, let's see what it looks like it, tomorrow in the morning or whatever yeah Actually, it will be afternoon. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. And, yeah, follow me on social media. All my links below as well as all the materials I used. And that's it, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.